Okay, so what foods I eat when I'm trying to diet, lose fat, and just get lean. I was going to say shredded, but not shredded, lean. Okay, first of all, um, I don't eat breakfast, but I'll, I'll add the foods that are so-called breakfast foods for those people that eat breakfast. For those of you who don't know, I do intermittent fasting when I'm dieting. Not when I'm bulking, because I find it way too hard to get that many calories in in such a short amount of time. But anyway, let's get into this. Okay, so my breakfast foods includes oatmeal, because you can't go wrong with oats, and eggs, because you can't go wrong with eggs. <laughs> so oats and eggs, and um, obviously when I'm dieting, I have more egg whites um, than the actual yolk. Well, it all depends. So oats and eggs, that's simple. And then another bonus, like, you, you, this is special, right? You get a bonus, is frozen fruit, which I have on my oats normally. But that's just, I'm saying that's a bonus because obviously I don't just have that for breakfast. When I have a craving, instead of eating like junk food, I have frozen fruit and yogurt or something like that. Like something sweeter. So instead of having chocolate, I have frozen fruit. Okay, now for lunch and dinner. So they're basically going to be the same foods. So um, we'll start off with the protein. So I mainly have the lean meats. So turkey breast. Um, sometimes turkey mince, but... I try to stay away from mints altogether, like beef mints and turkey mints, because it doesn't seem to fill me up as much as the turkey steaks and chicken breast. So I have those two. Then I have a lot of fish, like plain fish, just white, no batter. It's boring as hell, but yeah, that's what I have. Wherever it takes, right? <laughs> so um, yeah, we've got those three and steak. Although it's um, a bit fatty, obviously I'll see how my macros are. And then I have some steak later on because I like steak. I'm sure a lot of people like steak. And it's not like that calorically dense either. So so far we have lean meats like chicken, turkey steaks, um, white fish and steak. I think that's about all the meats I actually eat. It's not a lot. I might have missed one or two but I think that's about it. So just all the lean meats basically. And I try to stay away from mince. And also, this is another a bonus. Like, you're getting two bonuses here, right here, man? So lucky. No, but honestly, let's get serious. Um, when I chop the chicken up, so like, say, if you have chicken and rice, you chop the chicken up into, say, little cubes or diced chicken, I tend to find that that doesn't fill me as much as the actual chicken breast itself. So instead of chopping it up, you just, say this is the chicken breast, you just put it on the um, pan like that, like the whole chicken breast. That tends to, tends to fill me up a lot more. And it takes a lot more time to eat it. So yeah, those are the protein sources. Oh yeah, and also, um, I have low-fat Greek yogurt and cottage cheese. And then I have, at the end of my cut, I start to come across something called guac or something like that. It's like some soft cheese or something. That's very low in calories. So I have them. And yeah, I think that's about it now. <laughs> okay, now for carbs. And this is very, very simple and boring. First, I have obviously vegetables. If you're cutting, you're not eating vegetables. It must be quite hard, but obviously personal preference. Anyway, I have a lot of vegetables, loads of it. And I have frozen vegetables because I can't be bothered to check if the vegetables are going off. And it's so much easier just to defrost them in or just put them in a pan so much quicker and so for the veg and then this is the boring part for my so-called I don't know the actual carbohydrates the fun carbohydrates I have uh, white potatoes and sweet potatoes those are the two main ones it's very very boring I know I tend to stay away from rice as well because it's so calorically dense for how much you get and it doesn't satisfy me as much also, if you want to see what foods satisfy you a lot, just type in Google satiety index and it'll show you why potatoes is like 328% or something like that. So it fills you a lot. So that's why I have white potatoes and sweet potatoes and sometimes occasionally rice. Those are the main carbs I have. But to, to be honest with you, I normally have, say I have dinner, then I have, I just have lean meats 
loads of veg and if I don't have the potatoes I wait in later at night then I have like oatmeal with chocolate protein powder and frozen fruits as my dessert kind of thing fun dessert eh? <laughs> anyway um, I think that's yeah we've covered proteins and carbs now fats okay this is probably one of the most boring of them all and this is fats that sounded so formal okay my main fat source and I'm not even gonna lie it's just probably one and that's peanut butter and obviously oil like olive oil sometimes I cook with it not all the time no like I hardly cook with it <laughs> it's mainly peanut butter that's, but you can if you don't know healthy fats um, olive oil avocados you know search them up so yeah that's about my only fat source I have is peanut butter I don't really eat a lot of fats I was cutting on about 50 grams of fats per day and especially if I have that turkey mince or beef mince the mince have a lot more fat than the steaks turkey steaks chicken breast then I'd really not have a lot of fats that day but anyway I think I've covered it all now protein fats and carbohydrates and lastly fiber because we all need a shit and for fiber I mostly have <laughs> This is so boring. Brown flakes. Actually, let me tell you this as well. Wait, let me let me finish. Let me finish. I can't. Sorry, brown flakes and kidney beans. That's that's about the only fibre like beans in that. Okay, what was I gonna say? The bonus, the bonus. That's it. For um my diet when I'm cutting, it's a lot of cereals as well. I normally have oatmeal and brown flakes, and then this thing called protein crunch. So this LD, it's got a bit of protein. It's like 20 grams of protein for 100 for 100 grams, which is okay for cereal. So yeah, I'm talking quite a lot. Um, oh yeah, by the way, someone asked me this question. That's why I'm making this video. So um, I hope this helped, not just the one in the individual, but a lot of people. So just make sure to keep your diet. Not well, actually make sure if you keep your diet simple. For example, all the foods that I just told you you don't have to eat the same foods but if you keep it simple and you're tracking your macronutrients it's going to be a lot easier whereas if you mix the food up then you got to scan that or type the name in again so it just psychologically it's not as less draining but anyway personal preference so as always hope you enjoyed the video hope it's not too long hope you find it informative and as always stay positive stay smiling and i'll see you in the next one